You're admiring, boss? The pink moly grasses that we planted years ago. Oh, we did that landscape. Mm -hmm. I hear a rooster. That means we're out kind of early. 941, not too early. This is a continuation of yesterday's video. Yeah. Because we're doing, we're finishing this aeration. Yeah. Um, this I'm, was on the schedule for yesterday, but we ended up getting rained. As out. you guys seen. But we had an awesome day yesterday still. Yeah. Good um, day. And looking forward, I think we're supposed to get a monsoon from that hurricane that just hit the Gulf, mm -hmm. um, it stalled. So I think they're calling for us to get four and a half inches of rain, but we will see. So that'll for sure put us in a bind. Yeah. Right. But good for the aerations that we're going to get done. Hopefully. Yeah. So, and on the subject of aeration, um, um we, so we do a minimum. Yes. For 5,000 square foot and under, it doesn't matter if it's 2000. Now I'll make an exception if somebody has a 500 square foot area to do. But um, usually it's 5,000 square foot and under for aeration, seed, and fertilizer. Our minimum is 250. Yeah. Right? And then if you want spray, it's around 300, 315. 310 usually because so. spray, we usually do 60 instead, instead of the minimum of 50 because it's just a little bit more. You know, even though we have the backpack sprayer now, it takes longer to spray. Yes. So. so, yeah, that's our minimum. So, if you guys are starting aerations and you want to get a bad, just general area where to start, um, some people say 100 bucks for 5,000 square foot is a lot of money just to aerate. Um, but that that is our minimum, and we pay what the machine was ten grand. Yeah. So, and, and if you have to rent a machine, you I mean, it's going to cost you forty, fifty bucks easily. Yes, and you have to know the difference. We're using a core aerator, um, and it we pulls plugs. Right, it pulls plugs, and we also um, double cross. Yeah. So you know, there's some guys that will only go over the yard one time, and they're only spiking it. Okay, I guess if you want to um, charge less for that. But you also have to understand that this is more work on our bodies. Oh, yeah. Especially people using the walk-behind aerators. Yeah. I don't know how people do it for 50 bucks. I mean, that, that kicks your butt. I'm using one yeah. right now. If you're just mowing for 40 then why are you aerating for only 50 So yeah. just take that into consideration. So... And then that goes hand in hand with, you know, the clients that are questioning, like, well, why is my guy charging, you know, 300 and something dollars to aerate and see my yard and the other guy's going to charge 200? Well, yeah, we had that last year and the lady went with us um, and all the neighbors went with another company that was even less than that. Mm -hmm. um, and hers ended up, everybody admired hers, but it's because we use a different seed probably. Yeah. We cut the lawn higher. Um, yeah. We sprayed hers. So, yeah. So it's, it's just, a, you have to make sure that you find that um, happy spot for the lawn, I guess, yeah. you know, make sure you're keeping it on a good schedule. You know, not every lawn needs to be mowed weekly. Yeah. Not and, every lawn does need to be mowed. And weekly. that is why, you know, we do play around with our schedule a little bit, you know, in the hot heat of summer, we're not going to mow lawns at seven days when, you're yeah, when they hurting. haven't had any growth, they're very little. We, we'd rather have them a little bit so we can cut at least a third off. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get monsoons, after not having dry and it starts to pop, and then you get rain after rain like we've had, we get behind. It's yeah. just part of the business. Yeah. So. so, All right, well, let's get to work. I'm going to walk this aerator, too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fertilize first while Rachel starts aerating because the fertilizer doesn't have to. I, want, I like the seed to go down in the hole, so... Yeah. After we're done completely aerating, that's when I'll put the seed down. Yeah. So, but let's go. All right. So this is the last one of yesterday's batch we're aerating. They had mushroom compost. They spread out all along here. And we are just going to aerate right over top of it. I guess I'm kind of parked on here a little. But we're going to aerate right over top of it. This was a problem part in the yard. It always was like dry, would never grow. Um, there's less weeds than there was, but... And we're not spraying. I don't know. Okay, so this is the next one we're doing. As you can see, how much clay is in here? A lot of clay. See when you squeeze this soil together. Um, but we're gonna aerate it again, seed it, and get this done.
So Rachel's finishing up over there. We aerated all this here. I did part of the vacuum scene since I have the machine, but since she's done over here, all this, I'm gonna start seeding all this. Um, whew, that machine kicks your butt, guys. But I think the price on this one to aerate this, it might be 210 recharged. I'm not quite sure. I know it's about 200 um, because it's pretty big. It's close to 10, 12,000 square feet, um, probably 10,000. So um, let me go ahead and go ahead and start seeding this. Rachel's finished and blown up. I wanted to show you guys. This is a landscape that we did maybe three and a half years ago, three years ago. I'm not sure we recorded it. We put all the plants in, designed the whole thing. There was nothing here. Um, all this we put in, except for the um, these right here. I shouldn't know what they are, but Rachel's good at plants. But we put all these in except for the flowers all the way around here. Everything, nothing died. Nothing in this whole land. We redesigned, we, we made all the beds. I drew it all out for them and they improved it. Um, and the plants were a lot smaller than this, obviously. But all the way around here and out here. The uh, rose bushes, we planted all these too. Not bad, not bad. But as you can see, we cored the yard heavily. We do heavily core the yard. I don't know, do you guys core it that much? Um, and for this yard, everything in the fence, four foot outside of the fence, the whole hill, um, and everything to the tree forward, we did. It's 75 pounds of seed we used. But we're done this one now. So look at that, guys. The crabgrass came right back. So we're going to come back and spray this a second time with tenacity and sedge hammer um, because we can aerate and seed next week with spraying them. Yeah, look. So, because I obviously the first shot didn't kill it. Yeah, all the sedge is back and alive. We thought it looked like it was dying. All right, so we're going to just hit it again. I mean, yeah. it looks like some of this stuff is still... Okay, so we pulled a bunch of bigger, giant weeds out. We're going to come back and spray this after this big storm comes through with tenacity and sedge hammer right here, which I'm going to spray it a little heavier this time. And then we're going to come and aerate and seed all this. So let me get this mode and we'll get you an after recording in case I hear that again. Right, so I didn't know they had seagulls around here. I know, did you hear it? <laughs> it really sounds like a seagull. But it, it takes you, it throws you back to Jersey? Yeah, but I don't see it. I just hear it. Where you're sitting on the beach and they attack you if you have food? I know. Kids don't know the joys of having seagulls around. No. We used to go to seaside and stuff all the time. Yeah. Okay, let's get this mode. Yeah. There you go. First one done. I threw some seed in the spots that we pulled some of this crabgrass out, but we're going to reseed and aerate this anyway. There you go. Number two done. The fun part is I get to aerate this one with a walk behind. I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. Off to the next one. There's a couple little high spots, but it's not that bad. What's crabgrass though, and how many days is this? I like your new glasses. You guys like the boss's new glasses? Dang. They turn amethyst when yeah. they see the sun, right? Yeah. They match your tie-dye shirt. Okay, you're going to mow everything, right? I'm going to go weed-eat the back and everything else. Yeah. So we'll get you an after. That rooster said, get to work, boss. So here's this one. I'm not going to record this. Uh, that rooster saying, get to work, boss. I know. It's always yelling at you. Yeah, it is. I don't know. We're getting close, Rach. Only 28 more hours. And we're at 1,000. Really? Actually, 27 and 27 more. Six more. Yeah. I don't know how many you have on that big motor. Not bad. 
not bad for how long it was. Okay, we're gonna take a break now. Got warm out, humid. How you doing, boss? Good. Working hard or hardly working? Yeah, hardly working. Let's go take a minute. Yeah. So, what are you gonna cut it at? High. Okay, yeah, cut it high. I'm gonna cut high too. And then we'll just make sure we're here. Maybe yeah, we'll, aerate and seed the. Yeah. So that then I can cut it down short because I want to cut it high because I still want the weed spray to work. Okay, so we're going to cut these high. This one high. I'll get you an after of this one. The boss does her magic on the front and I do the back. So let's go. So as you can see, the weeds are dying. You can see the different hues in the um, lawn. And I'm pulling bigger giant crab grasses out. And I am going to go ahead and when we go seed this, I am going to spray tenacity again. Um, because it'll be two and a half weeks later. It is recommended for thicker weed presence. But look at it. It looks nice still. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna finish weed eating it. While Rachel mows. And then we're gonna do our big, huge one. And that might be the last one of the day. I'm not sure, we were saying maybe go mow the neighbor again, but we'll see how fast we get through that other one. So let me finish weed eating everything. So do you think this is the last one for today? Probably because we have a birthday tomorrow, so... And we have to go to the store tonight for Super Tuesday at Ingalls, where we yeah. get gas points. Yeah. Um. So we got to get some stuff from there. And yeah, we do have a birthday tomorrow, right? Yeah. It's hard to believe we have a daughter turning 15. I know. I keep saying that she's only going to be 14. <laughs> she's like, no, mommy. <laughs> she's going to be 15. I know. It's hard to believe, right? But she's probably going to be one that isn't going to leave the nest um, like our oldest and probably next year going to college. Paige will probably always live with us for a while. For a while, hopefully. I Her plan involves her needing land anyway. So, yes, so. she's going to just, you know, hang on to her mom and dad for... I think she's smart. And then she's going to bank her money and her plan is to buy a what? A Lamborghini. a Lamborghini. She has little folders saved up. She said she wants to buy a Lamborghini. Yeah. So we'll see. So whatever. <laughs> That's got to have goals, right? So, so she actually does have, if you guys want to check it out, um, she started a little store called Creative Designs. But mm -hmm. we'll link it in this video, I guess, right? Yeah, she just sits there and makes little things to sell on, uh, what is it, Teesprings? Yeah, um, so little... she has a little store, Creative Designs on Teesprings, and it has, like, different shirts that she's designed, mask, um, what else has she, oh, little fanny packs she yeah, designed. Yeah, so pretty much yeah. anything you can get from there, she's been just designing away and putting them on her her um instagram page so. yeah and a lot of it has to do with obviously you guys know her love for animals so um she a lot of it has to do with i think like the dogs and yeah and she training. has been putting more videos up on her channel what is it M mellow's adventure right mellow's adventures yeah so. so we'll make sure that we link that again too i think a couple of you guys have found it but so we'll let's go sure ahead and link it all. yeah let's go ahead and get mowing and we appreciate you guys yes. for watching and um, because she is only 15, we do ask you to be, you know, very respectful. Yes. We are watching it, but just to be respectful. Yes. So thank you. We Thanks. appreciate that. So let's get mowing yeah. so we can get go shoot food shopping. Okay. So we're here to do this one. This has been 10 days. I don't know if he expected us to be here today, but um, it is weekly, but we've always been 10, 12 days. But we're going to get it done and then put it on weekly because we got to aerate and seed this one too. And you want to go lower next time, right? Yeah. And we were on weekly until we hit that summer heat. Yeah. The summer heat, it doesn't grow as fast. And then yeah. after that, you get the summer rains. Yeah. 
Yeah, well now, well, the fall. The yeah, fall the fall rains. rains. But that's what we want because, and we will still even go because we're aerating and seeding all these lawns. We'll try to push it at least 10 days, if not a little bit longer, depending on yeah. what the rain is. Yeah, there. so the seed sets and starts to yeah. germinate. And the bluegrass should germinate in five days, we've seen, if we get rain. So we'll see the ones that are getting all this hurricane rain yeah. here next week. We'll see if they germinate yeah, that we still seeded. So, okay, I'm, I'll show you guys in the after. So, as you guys can see, this is definitely longer than I thought it was. Um, but look at the view. Pretty. Look, they're building another house. There's about 80 or 70 of them going up all around here, just in this area. So let me get this mode. I'm going to have to hit it three times, I think. But we are a little behind. I'll show you in after. Rachel's all the way down there mowing. She mows all that and all this and all the front yard. So let me get a view today, guys. The clouds are touching the mountains. I bet you it's going to be really foggy tonight. See it moving in over there to the left? These are the clouds from the um, cold front coming through. Look at She went a different way today. Look at her. I noticed she tried to match them up with this. Did she do a good job? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I did all the way around the fence. Ugh. We are done. Perfect way to end the day. There goes the boss. We're trying to make it. Do you think they're going to let me through, right? I think so. They're letting the other side go. We're trying to make it through. I imagine there's a really, really bad accident here, right? Yeah. If not, then we're going to have to go, like, all the way around the other way. Through the back roads. But... This is actually the road. Actually. Yeah, this is a bad road. Because... I almost, I almost, I came over cresting this hill and a lady pulled out and me and Paige were in the truck and I had to swerve and was on two wheels into the other lane and real quick back into the other one because she pulled right out in front of me or we would have been really, really hurt bad. Yeah, that was like a year ago, right? Yeah. It was a good thing I didn't have the trailer on. Yeah. If I had the trailer on, I would have lost it. Look at that nice truck. That is a pretty truck, right? Oh yeah, somebody on a motorcycle, right? Oh no, really? Was it? Oh yeah. Well, that was a horrible ending to the day. We didn't. We're not going to show you what happened, but there was a bad acts. I think, I think, a, a car pulled out right in front of somebody that was on a motorcycle, and yeah, all we seen was clothes on the ground. So. We're imagining it wasn't good. Not a good ending. And um, I think that this makes us just aware that you need to be very careful. Just slow down. Yeah, when you're coming up on intersections, guys, slow down at them. Don't, there's no point of barrel. I, that's what I teach Kayla. Anytime you're coming up on a red light intersection that you're not sure of, drop off 10, 15 miles an hour and slow down so you know you're not going to hit somebody that pulls out in front of you. That's a bad intersection. Right yeah, there. it's a bad intersection. Carl just told you about what happened to him. And um, I'm going to pray that we're wrong. But what we saw on the road was not yeah. something that looked like he walked away from. So, And it was a big motorcycle, like a big hefty motorcycle. But... Um, it a car hit him. So yeah, did on. it did it look like the car pulled out in front of him? It right? looks like the the car was completely smashed in the front too. So I'm thinking that that's what happened is that the car pulled out and oh, if the car is completely smashed in the front, I'm gonna assume that he pulled out in front of the car. I don't. Maybe there was another car involved. 
because if if he were driving and that car pulled out in front of him, he would hit the front le front side of the car. Oh yeah. You're telling me the front of the whole car was messed up. That means that she pulled out. No, he pulled out in front of her. He was probably going to make that turn and she was cresting that hill and hit him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe so. there was another car that we missed too, but I don't know what happened, but just slow down. And pray for the guy. Hopefully he's yeah. all right. We won't ever know, but guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, and share because that always helps and be happy. Or at least try, guys. Yeah. And stay safe out there. Stay, stay safe. safe. Have, Have a, a good, good night. night.